Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode we ended off by defeating this guy and in this episode we will carry on forward and try to reach the rock tunnel. Um, but before we go on I would like to talk about the topic of the trainers. Um, I think I've been battling uh, quite or too few of them on screen. Um, so I'm thinking that uh, from now on I will try to battle every required trainer and take on every other trainer that's not required off screen. So um, I hope you'll agree to that. But before we go any further I would like to just open up the TMs and because we don't have any better choices right now, I would like to teach Water Pulse to Jester. So he can have a water attack of some kind. Even though his special attack isn't that great, it is better than no water attack at all. So he will keep that for now. I could also teach Bullet Seed to Spoiler, but I will... Or can Spoiler learn Bullet Seed? She can, uh, but I will um, keep that in mind just for now, and if I need it I will teach it to her, but yeah. Now I'll battle this guy and see you in a moment. And since um, the water move also is this uh, same type attack bonus move, and since you can't learn any flying moves, it's very good to have. It has more power than tackle and against things such as Geodudes and Onyx and such. It's very good to have. So I'll hang on to it. This guy will just try to sneak past. He doesn't have anything against us. And um, this guy is not required. I just want to go past him for a quick match and go. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. How interesting. That guy had two beat rails and those give very much XP or EXP. So um Jester just keeps on growing. Anyway, here we just have a patch of grass and a way to get back. In case we wanted to go back after jumping down those cliffs and an ether. And I've already told you what I think about the ether, so don't think I need to go over that again. So let's just try to sneak past this guy again and carry on. Now, let's see. Here we have the first required battle in this um, episode, so let's take him on. And you'll finally get the, the option to see how well... Jester's new move works. And it is very nice to have one in. Makes a very nice difference already, I think. So I'll just keep that for as long as we can. And yeah, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't use it. Except now, though. I can just take it down with a little tackle. But why in the world do you have a level 20 Caterpie? And I suppose this Weedle is the same? Yeah, it is. You are crazy. You should have evolved them long ago, because I don't think there is much these little worms can learn once they reach these levels. And um, they might grow faster, but uh, other than that, it's not much point to it. Oh, and here we have something. I don't think we've seen this one before, but let's take a look. It is Venonat. Venonat is a very nice little Pokemon. Um, it doesn't have the best, best stats in the world, but it learns some interesting moves, um, such as yeah, Foresight, as you saw. It learns some Psychic moves and. Um, little bit of variety so it can be very nice to have but I'm personally not the biggest fan of Venonat myself so probably won't get one when we have the chance 
and I don't think we have the chance to get one for quite some time yet. Anyway, let's just get rid of that poison before it spreads and kills our Gyarados. Here we go. Poor little sea dragon can't die on me yet. I don't think there's anything special up there, and if it is, it's just some hidden item, and I don't remember where it is, so I won't go and look. But here we have a Chester Berry! And so let's just carry on. If we can pass off trainers, I will do that. Because battling all of them might make us very overpowered, and if I need to grind, I will do so off screen. But uh, let's carry on. We are at Route 10! And there's a Pokemon Center here. So maybe that antidote was a bit... Yeah, I didn't need to use that. Um, but no worries. No worries at all. We can just get some more PP for our moves and heal up in general. It's not like it and it's too much. Anyway, I see one of you guys. Oh, Anne, I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides to Professor Oak. If your Pokedex has complete data on 20 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward from Professor Oak. He entrusted me with this Everstone. So Anne, let me ask you, have you gathered data on at least 20 kinds of Pokemon? I have absolutely not. I think I have 11 now because I caught that Paris. But um, it's not like it matters too much anyway. The Everstone is a nice item to have, but it's not important for anything. All it does is keep your Pokemon from evolving. Um, and you can do that with the B button anyway, so... Unless you are very... Or if you lose your focus very easily, it can be very nice if you want to keep your Pokemon from evolving. Um, but otherwise it's not very necessary. Anyway, here we are in the rock tunnel. And it's dark, so this is where the flash comes in. It will illuminate the place, so we can see where we are going. Now before I carry on too far, I would just like to put on a repel. And I'm sorry if I'm going into the menus a lot in this episode, but it's kind of necessary. Just so we can get stuff over with. Now, this path seems to have some uh, intersections and such, but it's really mostly just a straight path, so we'll just go along and if we find a dead end, we'll just go back. It's not too long of a tunnel anyway. Pokemon fight! Ready? Go! Now let's see, what do you have? He has a costume! Of... Uh, Pokemon we haven't seen yet. But he has a Cubone too, and I don't think we have run into a Cubone so far. But it is an interesting Pokemon. It's very slow, um, has some decent defense. As you can see it survived our not too spectacular water pulse. Um, and it has decent attack, but um, nothing to brag about exactly. Uh, though it has a specific item that you can get and if it uh, gets that hold item it will double its attack and make it very very powerful so if you want that you can get one slowpoke I think we've seen a slowpoke so nothing whoops I didn't mean to do that oh well at least it will get give the slowpoke a slight chance. Slowpoke can be good too, because it's defensive and such, but it's slow and everything. Game over! For you it might be, for me it's not. Sorry. Oh well, I'll get a Zubat as I go. You do that. Um, I won't. I will avoid Zubat. Zubat is very nice too, but it doesn't get to the best of its potential in this game, and that's very sad. 
Otherwise, I like Zubat a lot, actually. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. So do I, actually. And uh, I actually draw quite a lot of Pokemon. Um, you might have seen the pictures in some of my updates and such. Um, those Pokemon drawings are drawn by me. So uh, you know what those look like. Uh, and it's very fun because Pokemon have such diverse designs and such. So it's very nice to draw them if you are starting out as an artist or something like that. Get to get a hang of different designs and just drawing lots and lots of different stuff so, don't, so you don't get stuck in the same area for a long time. That's my advice to any artist starting out. Just draw everything and don't be afraid to draw something you're not good at because the repulse effect wore off. Yeah, that's what happens if you don't draw stuff you're not good at. The repel will wear off. And it's all your fault! Well, maybe not. Anyway, does any of you guys draw? Would be very nice if more people draw too. I don't often come here, but I will battle you. How, how very nice. What do you have to battle me with? An Oddish. Ooh, that might not be the best matchup against our Gyarados, but uh, we'll give it a shot. He's a flying type after all, so he's not uh, exactly weak to grass. But uh, Oddish will be very defensive as always. Mm, I do have a gloom on my team and I just don't remember it's that that well. I remember how its attack and defense goes, but apparently not much more than that. No, it's uh, physical and special attack I mean. Not its attack and defense, I just forget its defense. And that's not too good. And it's not too good that you are poisoned again, Jester. So I will just switch out to Avak. I could use Acid on that Bulbasaur too, but uh, I'll stick with Fire and uh, see if I can burn this little dinosaur thing that's whipping. Won't whip for very much longer though. Goodbye. And that's that. Oh, I lost! As usual, you all lose to me. Um, I think I only had one antidote left, but I would like to use that now, now so we don't lose Chester halfway through the cave. Yeah, it's very useful to have in here because of the... Well, I wouldn't say the large amount of rock types because we are using repels and stuff like that. Um, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? I know about it. I've seen a very, few very good cosplays actually. Yours is not one of those, sadly. Uh, but... Some other people are very good at making Pokemon cosplays. I do not do that myself. Both because I never have an occasion to wear anything like that. I'm very bad at sewing and I just don't feel the need to wear a cosplay. But do any of you guys do cosplays? I draw. It doesn't have to be of Pokemon at all, just something else. A general character or just cosplays in general. Just creating costumes and other things like that. Because I have been a bit interested in trying to make something. I don't know for what kind of character, but it seems like it would be fun. Well, that's that. Sorry, but you did have some money to give me, and I'm happy with that. Let's see. Okay, here we have another crossroad of some sort. And two hikers. Uh-oh, the repel again. 
There we go. We should have enough to get through the cave. Mm, I'll find this guy on the lower path. We have to fight one of them. Um, but we only have to fight one of them, so just choose the one you want to fight. And he only has one Pokemon and it is a Geodude! Level 25 is kinda strong, but shouldn't be any match against my Gyarados if it's Intimidate and it's Water Balls. There we go! And you won't survive this. And we won't at all. Those Quad Weakness uh, Pokemon are very, very weak to my team. They are no match for us against... for us at all. And we have more hikers that just sneak past. See if we can get around here. Hmm. This guy, I think... Um, we have to fight one of these guys too, so I'll just pick the top one and we'll fight him. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. So I figured, but we will get through it, and um, you won't stop us with your Geodude, or your horde of Geodudes, or whatever it is. And Jester is starting to catch up with the others, so that's good too, if he can just catch up entirely. Or maybe we'll have to switch out and put Spoiler at the front of the party before we go too far. Because she needs levels too, eventually. She's still a little bit ahead of him. But uh, that should be fine. For now. But um, if he catches up soon, we'll have to switch them around a little bit. They should all even out soon. So I don't have to think of one as too overpowered compared to the others. Well. It just takes this one out too, no problem at all. And let me guess, your last one is a Geodude or is it not a Geodude? It is a Machop. I should have remembered that actually. It's one of those things that you just remember for no, no reason at all other than um, there being um, a strange recurrence of something different in a huge party of something else. Oh, I'm speaking very strangely today. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. What is this? An escape rope. We will not use that. We have come too long to go back again now. But we will use repels. That hiker guy. Can I sneak past him? I can. So let's go on before anyone else sees us. Hmm. There's nothing here except rocks. And we can't do anything about rocks right now. We can eventually. And I suppose there's some kind of hidden item in this place, but I won't search for that as usual. But apparently I will fight you. Do you know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? You can bend twigs as trail markers. Um, that sounds useful, but uh, yeah, I don't tend to go on walks in mountains other than the one I live in. And I know all the paths here, so it shouldn't be a problem. I don't get lost here very often anymore. Or I don't recall if I ever got lost, really. But uh... And if you get a little bit lost there, it's just a matter of going downhill until you find some houses again. Or following in the water, because there are lots of little lakes around here too. It's very cozy here. But anyway, why do you bring pigeons into caves? Little birds aren't supposed to be inside caves. You know that, or you should know that. It's easy to defeat anyway, and a meow. It's a standard team for one of these two. One of those picnickers. We just take this out and um, carry on again. 
Of course I didn't take it all the way down. I think I can defeat it one with one bite. Yeah. I didn't risk a tackle. But uh, bite should be fine. Oh, I did my best. Your best wasn't good enough. You know why? Because my team is better than yours. Simple as that. Um... Of course it went off again. But let's see. There are more items here. There are items everywhere. It's a max either. That's very good. And we will try to hang on to that for as long as possible. That was almost a trap. Um, let's see. This should be the right way. And that should be the last trainer battle we can take on on this floor. I think. If I'm not completely mistaken. But he has geodudes as usual. We are quickly running out of water pulse, I think. But um, I don't think there is too much left of this cave anyway. Though... Mm, there might be quite a few trainers left anyway. In that case we will just switch around our party a little bit because they can all take on mostly anything in here. But Dragon Rage! Let's see. Um, Dragon Rage is one of those special moves that always hit with the same amount of power. I don't know how often of now will use this, but it's very useful in the beginning and that and splash is certainly not useful at all. There we go. Get rid of splash, learn Dragon Rage, and defeat another Geo dude. Because early on most Pokemon don't have too much HP anyway, so it can be very useful against those a bit more defensive and those who resist so our other moves and such. So yeah. But oh! I think this is the first time we see a Graveler. It's just an evolution of Geodude and it's not very different, it's just a better Geodude basically, I think. Um, but it can be a bit powerful. But there we go. Defeated it and got some nice experience. And Jester has caught up quite a bit in this episode. Um, but... Oh no! Um, as I was saying before I got interrupted by this guy. Um, now it's time to end this episode. Uh, but before I go, I would like to ask you guys what you think of the way I show battles now. And, um... If it's too much, if it's just enough, at this point it's very many battles, but I think it will even itself out eventually, once we get out of this, of this cave. Um, but please tell me what you think, um, and I'll see you in the next episode, so see you then and take care.